وما سنت هاي حرارة الكومن تيدا لسوق قد بيو بديهين لكن سجارة وحنقول مرة يا سؤالها دنكا تلفزيون كا يونيفرسال While public debate still rages over proposed changes to Somalia's electoral system, the federal government is taking steps to enshrine those changes into the Constitution. On Saturday, both Prime Minister Hamza Bare and President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud held meetings with key figures in the charter process. Barre has instructed the Council of Ministers to prepare legislation to be presented to the National Assembly. The cabinet agreed, but asserted that any constitutional amendments must adhere to Chapter 15 of the existing transitional constitution. The monitoring committee for the review and implementation of the constitution and the independent committee for the review and implementation of the constitution are two committees in the center of the process. Hassan Sheikh met with both of them in the past two days. The committees told the president they have involved numerous legal scholars to make sure the changes don't contradict anything in the existing charter. They also said they were listening to public comment, but they indicated they would move swiftly to put the changes before the National Assembly. The move to a presidential system, with the prime minister position being abolished, has been controversial. Many see it as a power grab, getting rid of an important check on the president's authority. Others have complained about the idea of limiting the amount of political parties to two. This would seem to cut down on the number of competitors for each position. While some public debate has been held, there has been no mechanism for altering any of the suggestions from the National Consultative Council. The state leaders seemed eager to adopt the revisions as most will have years added on to their current terms. State elections will be coordinated with national elections in the future. Experts think the process could drag on for months or even a year if there is significant pushback from some legislators. ADN TV will continue to report on political developments across Africa.